Why is it always so bright in here when I start? Hey? Tell me. Hello, poker players. Win your all-ins, mate. What great advice to start today, huh? Is that not the best advice you've ever heard? Win your all-ins? If only everybody just did that, we'd have a bunch of millionaires. We got a 215 deep stack. Let's play cards. We've been three bet holding aces. Oh, what a day. Oh, what a feeling, what a night. Back in May in 1999, Ollie scored a goal in extra time. Oh, what a feeling, what a night. Oh, what a night. How deep are we talking? How deep's deep? 100 blinds deep? 50,000. 49,000 to go. Re-raise. I re-raise. Big pot already. 215 deep stack. Maybe they just have queens and kings, you know? Maybe they just have some big, big holdings. That'll be me having a bet. I don't think there's a single hand that we don't lose, that, that we, uh... I mean, maybe they have the nines. Very, very seldom. But I think we've got the nuts, haven't we? We will bet. Yeah, we will. We're lining up for the three streets. I'd imagine they have kings and queens and jacks. Maybe they have ace king of hearts. We don't block the hearts. Maybe they have ace queen of hearts. Maybe they have some other suited hands. As I say, maybe they have the three bet call nines. Don't think they three bet call eights. I think they're probably just calling pre. We get min raised on the turn in position. We get min raised on the turn in position with an uh, with an SPR where I can shove the uh, shove the river. Right? I mean, I guess I'm shoving now. I assume they just have kings. Don't think that's an unfair assumption. Indeed. Indeed, good start for us in the 215. Wonderful. Simply lovely stuff. And I'm betting the 215 deep stack against Brazil five cards. We'll check back the turn with the queens. With the club. I mean, I think we're gonna raise versus a block. I think the king X are gonna gonna go bigger. Maybe, maybe they mix uh maybe they mix some flushes into this like small size and go for the bet three bet. I have the queen of clubs. It's a little bit awkward raising because obviously I don't have any uh straights or flushes in my range. So it can get a little bit. But we do get a bet call. Raising the queens for value at the river against this sizing, I think is good. They end up with the nines. And I gotta say, it feels like we get them real good with this hand in the 215 deep sack. I feel like we get them real good. Man, a lot of cold four betting going on from us today. Well, I, I think I'm just gonna do it here and I'm gonna be very sad if Wesel puts it in, but we're gonna be priced in at 40 blinds, I think. Felix, danke schön für die Raid. Willkommen alles mein deutsche Freund. Wir haben Ass. We have Ass. Queen und ein Vierbett. Willkommen, willkommen. Etwas zum Trinken? Ja, Café, again. Always Café over here. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you very much to Felix. A lot of chips over here in the deep sack still. We've got two nines. Good hand, isn't it? I don't think I want a four bet. Seems a bit optimistic. I think I'd rather call and flop top set. Very nice. Hallelujah. Probably some check in here in a three bet pot on seven, eight, nine. I think they are going to want to mix check over pairs. Uh, oof. I wonder if there's any checking back. Regrets. I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. Definitely too few to mention now. I love the river, of course. I think we can get some payments going here. So when I'm value betting here, on this card in particular, I don't think I'm value betting. I mean, if I want to, I can just check back. So I don't need to have any small sizings to like navigate some of my weaker hands and ensure that they, you know, capture EV by mixing in the small. So when I'm in position, because I can just check, I just go big bets only, I think. And if they check fold ace king and ace queen, I have a very profitable bluff. But that it's not going to happen, is it? Ace four offsuit pays me. Honestly, maybe ace four is a better call than like ace king or ace queen, since they want me to be bluffing like king queen. And I probably don't value bet worse ace x. Don't have it. So this is actually probably better call than ace king. In the deep stack, raise three bet, called four bet from Tua. Um, probably call. <laughs> I was going to say uh, we got there against the aces. This is is this a good board? What does this board do for us? Kills our action against queens? I feel like they four bet? Like, this is them. This board is them when they four bet. Like, how do they not bet? Maybe they miss a range bet with, like, queens and jacks. Like, if they're gonna miss... If this is a board where they should bet range, having four bet, I do think they're supposed to have high cards when they called four bet, so maybe they still have ace-queen. That's entirely possible. Obviously, they're still gonna have aces. But if they miss the range bet, if it is indeed a range bet, it's most likely to be, like, queens and jacks, eh? Like, if I could think of a hand that they're likely to miss that bet with, it's those two. Top draw stuff, top quality stuff, and a bet on Queen Queen Six if I may against Mr. Peaky Blinders. I feel like I want to value bet the turn when we don't get chair raised on the flop with a very strong King X hand. Maybe the nuts. Maybe I just have the nuts here, you know? Seems like I have the nuts, doesn't it? Maluli, thank you for 41 months. Dobby grow up one day and be so proud of the man he's become. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. Thank you very much, though. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Did we, how many, I mean, we beat everything that isn't a queen. We block ace-jack for the back door. We don't block ace-jack hearts. Maybe they just fold ace-jack off on the turn. We don't, maybe they have ace-jack hearts for one combo, but typically we'll see a check raise on the flop with a queen. So do I want to just go three streets here or what? At this depth, they're really playing check calls on the flop with a queen? I don't think so. 
So I think I'm going for it. Well, I'm also all in. All in the 215 deep sack. Queens against a6 for a 400,000 chip pot. Very nice. Win a massive pot in the 215, eh? That one nice. Shit! Did you see that? Okay, we're gonna call King Six of Hearts on the button, have a bet in position against two, Moldy Way. We get check raised. We're nice and deep here against two. Up. We might see them check raise some dominated draws. Maybe some like Jack X of Hearts as well. Maybe some hands like 9 10 with hearts. Uh, I'm gonna call the nut flush draw in position. That's kind of nice. I think actually this does give us some showdown value against some like Jack X of Hearts. We retain our showdown against bluffs like 9 10. Obviously, they're gonna have Queen 10 sometimes, but it's like very easy for us, obviously, to. I don't think like. I don't think our decision is going to be on the turn. And then our decision on the river, like, we would not catch this for three. But um, we're certainly going to call the turn back. They are sizing as if they want to be all in by the river. We're going to see ace eight. We're going to see jack eight. We're going to see queen ten. I have rivered the nuts, which could be good. It might slow down our action a little bit against some two pairs like jack eight or ace eight. Um, but if they do have something like jack x of hearts or nine ten of hearts or even like queen ten of hearts, then we just cool them out of their seat. Maybe they choose to follow through some bluffs as well. That is a bluff that's going to follow through. I like it. Queen of hearts. Nice hand to have. Blocks queen 10. Blocks the uh, flushes. And it would have worked, right? If, if we break out a heart here and they shove, we fault. So I think this is a really nice bluff, actually, with queen 9 with a gut shot. They want to want to check raise some of these flush draws and then with a heart in the hand. So in other news, look at all my chips. 1.7 million. Are you kidding? Oh, my goodness. Mountains. 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 I don't know about calling here without the back door with the eight. Seems a bit thin actually on the flop. Might just check fold it. Eh, probably gotta call one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And the block wins. 1.8 million. There we go. What a game. What a game. Second in chips. Look at this guy. Hey, what are you doing? Are you on edge? Why are you on edge? Get away from me, you disgusting nit. Hmm? Crazy guy, this guy, folks. Crazy guy, this guy. You know that? 20 BBs, we can't fold ace queen suited. It's a flip for 500k again. Sixes shoves 20 blinds versus EP. And we'll just win another flip. I have ace jack here against Sabuta. We flatted pre. We call on the flop, of course. We'll have a bet. Put some chips on the turn. We don't want to just, like, shove in the river. Aces with the jack of spades. Huh. Huh. Look at me go. Knit life with the chat behind, huh? Big knit life. Get out of there. 20 BBs, Sabuda. 22 blinds. 2.8. When we're less than like 25 blinds deep, it was 2.8 X pre. It's nice. Nice. What is that? Probably gonna bet range though. DF Game in 1501. Thank you for three months, mate. Hope you're well. Best of luck. Likewise, right back at you. I'm good. Thank you, mate. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's hit it with a check back, shall we? Think we're probably just going to end up folding here. Having two kings and the king of spades, you know, we really need them to float some king highs, backdoor king of spades in their hand. I don't think they're going to bluff hearts necessarily. So I'll just fold when they bet river. That's what I'll do. Here in the 215 deep set, we flat the 10s in the cutoff. We get a 15 big blind shove behind. If Sabuta folds, we click call. If Sabuta calls, like, I feel very sad. Because obviously I'm top of my flats, but still, it's a lot of chips. Huh. Man, this is a weird one. Sabuta's... I'm, maybe I just fold. Feels real stupid though, but what does Colin do for us? So this call. So deep. Now we're in a jammed 14 blind pot and we flopped a set at this SPR. Obviously, we're really excited now. Definitely going to call pre-flop with like ace-queen and ace-jack to this shove. Obviously have some traps too, but... We'll just call again. Gonna have ace queen. Obviously gonna have like queens and aces. I'd expect some checking with aces on the turn, but got a very good hand, don't we? What the fuck is this run out? Holy shit. Man, they're just gonna end up having ace king and just fucking doing this. I mean, I can't call the river jam. You're not gonna jam ace queen or ace jack. Just gonna have ace king if he shoves, I guess. Ah, sure. Shame about the river. Maybe I can shove against the two pairs of the river with the ten of diamonds in my hand as well. Probably should, actually. I think there's going to be all the other sets, so that's a problem too, right? Going to have queens and aces. Maybe even checks ace king. Sometimes. Probably not, though. Uh, 3.8 million. Chip lead pot. This is obviously a massive one. Good. I don't want to talk about this hand. I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want to let you know, I just know how we're in this pot. <laughs> uh, you know. Fine. 
Two and a half thousand viewers right now. Thanks everyone. Hope you're having a great Friday night. 1,462 of you are subscribed to the channel. That's fucking heaps. And 150,002 subs. You know what that means? We've got a celebration. Pease Ugla's provided uh, a celebration for us for 150,000. I have no idea what this is, what it looks like, but here you go. Is he coming back? Good celebration, isn't it? There you go. I told you something good was going to happen at 150k, didn't I? Grand opening, grand closing. In he comes, and there he goes. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> uh, the production quality on this channel is sky high. It's through the roof. Unbelievable, isn't it? Always Cash, thank you for the tier one sub. Welcome in, Always Cash. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I had a bet on the flop with the fives. King 8, 3 rainbow. I think we just better range. From EP vs Big Blind. You got me. You got me for the bluff. The 10% you've induced. I got my ace 10, haven't I? I've got queen jack, I've got ace 10, I've got pocket jacks. You've bet the 10%. We're 19 away from the money. You've induced a bluff, but you're still gonna fold, right, Errol? Ebgil. Fold! Muck em. Muck em. Good bat doors for me. They can't have ace 10. They can't have 9 10. They can't have. I probably could have queen jack. Yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Hooray! We're in the money. Congrats. I'd call a big all in over here for two blinds and seven over here. We win. We'll play sixes. All right, so we're six of 91 here. The bubble does burst. It guarantees us $487. And I would like to peel sixes here, I think. Wow. Seems like a good flop. Good start, of course. I think we will bet in position. I think we'll favor a bigger sizing on this board, too. I'd bloody love to get Chet raised. I can live with a Chet call. 500 into a milli leaves about a milli into two milli. We're probably just going to go for those sizings or something akin to that. Looks good to me. They have a lot of King X that want to check call here. King 9. They're probably open like King 7 suited. So King 7, King 8, King 9, King 10. Probably check call some. Obviously like Jack X. And like Ace Queen of Spades, Ace 10 of Spades. All of these hands we can draw value from. Spades do fill. Maybe they have some like King X of Spades occasionally. I don't think that's going to stop my hand trying to go for all of the chips. If they lead, I'll be a bit sad. Maybe they have some Queen 10 too, but they probably just bet the flop with it. Not sure they check call Queen 10 twice. I don't think I'm not not shoving. We block like king six of spades as well. We fade the snap. Maybe they have ace jack of diamonds. That would be lovely. Or ace jack with one diamond or something. Well, we don't get paid, but very big part. 4.8 million. It's not quite enough for the chip lead, but it's put us kept us right up there, isn't it? Whoa, jacks. Looks all right to me. Flatten off the 20. We'll check some of our aces. We'll check our jacks. Got the jack of spades and everything. Eights is in big trouble against us, you know? Think like that. King queen gets there now, though. I'm certainly not going to fold the turn with the jack of spades. No shot. I can beat aces. We got a prediction going on. Will I make the final three tables? Will I make the final three tables of this 215 deep stack? We are three of 72. The first pay jump will be at 71. That would lock us up $585. Any river valley bets? I think so. Winner, winner. Five million chips in the deep stack. We've got a big stack going on. And we're at 5.2 million. So three of 67. We have got a pay jump to 585. First place is 26,484. I'm going to raise here these guys' stacks. Don't think. Wow. Sevens are good. Six, seven suits good. I had a seven as well. How do they get away with this? King, queen, suit comes in third. Redistribution of wealth into the blinds. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Kings. We're fifth of 58. Oh my god. All in for a million. Which is 13 blinds. But huge pot. Big pot. Go on then. Six million. Go on. Six million stack. You love to see it, don't you? Never mind. Everybody else. Pretty sure we're just shoving here, aren't we? Man, this guy's been so tight. But it's on the... They were very tight around the money bubble. Uh, for 17 bigs, we're just all in. Ace Jack, just gonna play best as a shove. Big flip for 3.6 million. Hold that Jack. Go on then. 7.1 million. We are peaking in this tournament. 3 of 49. 28k up top. 26k up top. 26 and a half. We'll take it. We'll keep on keeping on. Moving in the right direction. 
Big flip to win. Three and a half million chips. Big flip to win. We love winning our flips, folks. Three of 45. So we made the pay jump at 47, right? 47 was 703. We ain't here for that. We don't want to give you that. Uh, it's probably a mix. I will bet the flop. Will I bet the turn? Oh, they will bet the turn. They will lead the turn. Fish on heater. I will not fold top pair with a four of spades, I don't believe. Uh, and I'm showing down an eight. And it's good. And it's good. It's good. <laughs> that was nice. Eight million chips. Probably should just bet the flop here. Spicy river card. Very spicy river card. I mean, mate. What a catch. Wow, he had ace 10. What a catch. 9.9 .9 million. Look at me go. Easy two hour. Two of 38. We called a 3x against Fish on Heater, who's raising off 20 blinds. We flopped very well. We're probably just going to call. Don't know if I want to jam now or call. Probably call. And just call down. Very strong hand, blindly blind. They might shove King 9 for value, you know? I'm just snapping here. Got him. I'm first in chips, Dadoom on second in chips, Roni Dubs third in chips, and we're all in a row. Very sick table draw here. Very sick table draw. Probably a lot of calling with ace-jack off here. We don't want to three-bet get it in. We don't want to three-bet fold it. I think we call a lot in the small blind with the ace-jack off suit at 40. That's what we'll do. We flat hands like jack-10, queen-10, king-10 here. Flat-8-9 suited as well. So it's quite a reasonable board for us. We have a lot of suited king-x, suited ace-x still. So we make some top pairs. I do think for 300k we're probably going to continue ace-jack as well. Seen worse turns? Obviously I'm not saying, you know, we've got the nuts or we're going to, you know. But uh, in terms of good turns for us, I think this is okay. Our opponent's going to make some hands that they're going to want to value bet. Um, some worse hands that they're going to want to value bet, like Queen Jack and King Jack. I think once they check back, we're very happy to go for a bit of a larger sizing. We'll just try and target 10x. I think this bigger sizing is pretty good. I think it's quite showdown driven, the check back. Hand like King Queen or Queen 9, they're probably going to find a barrel. So I think it's a lot of uh, 10x, be it 9, 10, Queen 10, King 10, Ace 10. Might even have a hand like Pocket 8s, Pocket 9s. Sadly, they fold. Uh, we probably go either way when we flop a pair here. Start with a check, shall we? Our intention, of course, not to check fold. I'm second in chips, they're third in chips. Turn is pretty nice. Both ranges very wide. Turn might be, sl I mean, I don't know. Maybe turn's better for them. Once they check back flop, probably not. Like, they probably don't defend all the forex. Maybe I'm just talking absolute shit. Absolute fucking nonsense being spoken over here on this stream today. Because blind v blind is a very tough game to play, isn't it? I think 5-6 is obviously decent uh, favorite to have bluffed. Just try and get caught by some ace highs, some check backs, some pairs. Ah, we're only 60 BB steep now. Much easier. Much more reasonable. I'd imagine I want to uh, see some flops here versus some opens. Probably. It's a nice hand, isn't it? Race call a three bet. Is that what's going on? It's a good flop. Seems like I would bet at this depth. On the larger size? Man, what a shit turn. What an immediately regrettable turn. I mean, they don't have that much ASX. Maybe they're ASX clubs, but it's a bit of a sad turn. We're still value betting at some two pair combos. Man, that's really tragic, eh? What a, like, hand killer maybe, action killer maybe. Maybe when I have the... It's difficult, right? Because, like, the 8... Maybe, like, blocking King 8 is relevant. Like, there's some of the catches. Maybe I just block with it, though. Alright, they fold, we win. Which is fine, but obviously, like, we flop a straight. Um, I, don't, I don't mean to be greedy, but we flop a straight. It was pretty, you know, rough turn in terms of trying to, trying to get the... Trying to get the damn thing paid, you know what I mean? Good luck, maestro. Ace King against the eights. That is uh, would have been a good flop for me. Ace King is going to win quite comfortably, and we're down to twenty one, which is a uh, pay jump, right? Oh, twenty three was a pay jump. Ignore me. Wow, Kings. Oh, this guy's got fifteen million. That's the chip leader right there. Well, if Mark opens, obviously we're going to have a three bet. Two point two to six point six looks okay to me. Now listen, Mark. I ain't playing games. I got a real hand. I'm not fucking around. Twenty million chip pot. GG, mate. GG. What can you do? You know when, like, a player scores against their old club? You know when a player scores against their old club and they're just like... I'm delighted. I got 25 million chips. I'm delighted, but it's Mark. Good buddy of mine. Good buddy of mine. What are you going to do? It's just a setup. Cut off button. What are you going to do? Whew, that club on the turn got me. Oh. 
Whew. That is a big fucking pot. 25 million chips, one of 19. My goodness me! Doesn't seem totally awful to call to me. It might be though. I mean, I'm not ruling anything out. <laughs> yeah. Shame the turn isn't a 10. Versus the sizing on the flop, what we're trying to get called by now. I guess we're trying to get called by ace high if we bet, right? A lot of stuff did miss. And I think they probably do bet some like ace high flush draws on the flop, like ace four hearts. And obviously I can have queen jack and king jack peels and things like this. I think I just bet with a 10, like 60%. Maybe it's better to block. Hmm. I don't really know. I feel like I feel like every decision in this hand, except for probably flop versus half pot, could be different. Pre-flop, I'm really unsure. And then river sizing, I'm really unsure. Maybe we just check river. Feels unlikely we check river with a queen in our hand though. Because their bets on the flop are going to be like, maybe some queen jack, maybe some ace highs. Maybe some like king queen. The queen 10 blocks all the like easy folds. All the bluffs, the hands that want to bluff, the ace highs just maybe call us. So maybe we just bet with that one. I don't know. I'm just saying, again, think that loud. Who, who fucking knows? I made a full house. Call, make a full house, win the chips, whatever, whatever, whatever. And we're down to 16 players. Coming in final two tables. Safe Poker Live. Thank you very much. Safe indeed. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in. I unblock the middle and portions of the range here. I'm a little bit like, whatever. I think three bet squeezing is good though. Umvelt could very easily find the bat raise all in. Uh, there's going to be some checking on the 965, I think. You can definitely call nines twice. I don't block any of the back doors. Huh. Maybe I'll just bet though. Maybe I'm like getting real out of line here. Look at that. Boom. Punished. Snap raise the flop. Boom. Wow. Call. Call a three bet. Boom. Don't give a fuck. Raise. Pow. Probably a little bit of a aggressive continuation on 965 without blocking any of the backdoor flushes or anything like that. But I think uh, I think I like the squeeze pre with the ace three. Pavro Gaviano says ace queen never wins on poker stars. Thank you. I won't play it. Thank you. Noted. King queen with a call off. Flops a queen. Got to fade the hearts. All right, we're down to 14. Still first in chips. Umvelt though, up to 17.4 million. Vinky on the other table at 16.8. Don't think I want to defend here at 11, do I, against Dadumon? Maybe though. Maybe. I mean, losing the pot doesn't necessarily negatively impact me really hard. Probably got to call tight on ICM, but we do cover and it's like 11 blinds. I don't know if I just get to slide in for a blind here. I don't know. Obviously, I also feel like it's quite a strong range given that some of their hands don't want to induce and just shove, you know? I'd imagine. Do I get to peel? Good luck, us. Good luck for the spade. I can hit a spade. I've made flush before. All that, that works. Don't mind it. Don't mind if we do. And called. Stack one, calls off eight blinds. Pocket sixes, it's a flip, a seven, it's a six. Good game, dad him on. Good game, good game, we're down to 11. That is a pay jump to $1,761. We're gonna continue to bet, probably. I wonder if uh, we win enough now. What's the deal with a seven? Shame. They're just top of the range when we barrel here on the turn, which is, of course, unfortunate. Like I say, not much going for us in terms of uh, hand distribution. Big all in down here. Ace king against nines. The nines are going to win, which honestly we could have done with a bust. And uh, we open king jack here and we're going to bet. Whew. Good job they folded. We won a pot though. Do you see that? We won a pot. We won another one. 17.3. We had a bluff with a king jack. Did not have a club in our hand. Maybe they peel some A-side clubs. We do block for some of the flush draws that will continue again. It's a dangerous uh, situation for a hand like, uh, obviously the A-sides, but then like fives and sixes it might call. We've got some over pairs that are going to want to continue betting. I think they're going to peel some A-sides. So we'll barrel with the king jack with the king of spades. And that's us up to 17 million. Four of 10. Final table bubble. Four bet very quickly all in. They have it this time. Ace 10 versus ace queen. And I folded a 10. That could be us to the final table. It is. Umvelt, three bets, every hand, picks up ace-queen, ace-10 finds a four bet, bang, bang, and we're down to nine, Umvelt, into the chip lead with 33 million. That guarantees us ninth place money, which is 2,116. Big FT right here, the lights are on brightest. Oh my goodness, look at this table draw, man, they just put Umvelt in my big blind, they put the chip leader and the guy who three bets every hand in the big blind. I already know how I bust, I four bet pounce someone against Umvelt and he just clicks call, you know? I already know what it is, ladies and gentlemen, this is your final table, there's no pink, no bink. We got an all-in first hand. We got a reshove and aces calls. What a start. What a start for Maestro. Fantastic. Now I got two of the biggest stacks to my left. Fucking great. Nice hand, buddy. Congratulations. You have reached the final table. Oh, yes.
There it is. This is your final table. And here's what we're playing for. Oh, right on cue, Mr. Zuggler. What a legend. 26 ads and $485 for first. We're guaranteed 2,116 bucks. Welcome to the final table then. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're watching this video. All in. Cold. Vinky. In the middle. I say cold. Reshoved, I guess. Be quite unlikely anyone calls off behind. Not impossible. Strange things have happened. Kings. Oh my goodness. You got to feel for stack one. You got to feel for stack one. First time the FT ran eights into aces, then gets the kings, all in against ace nine. No ace, just nine, nine, six. All but deaded on the flop. That does ladder us to eighth. So we've got $2,543 locked up. Now they got, they, got a, they got the chip lead over here, you know? They got the chip lead now when there's a lot of these middling 16, 15, 15, 16, two shorties. Arion's going to start expanding. Vinky raise, Kretz all in. There's no folding from Vinky. The price is right. Bruce Forsyth. We want Kretz. Oh my goodness. Guess who? It's Umvelt. Having a little four bat versus Vinky's under the gun. A little ISO of the all in. Anything could happen here. We want bust outs. Ideally, Kretz has gone. That would take us to at least seven, three and a half K. Ace eight off suit. This guy. This guy. Jack 10 finds the double. This is so fucking bad. Ay, ay, ay. Umvelt with the little cold four versus under the gun and the jam. They say flops a uh, pretty good hand. We are what? Yeah, sure. Gonna three bet me this time. He can't help himself. Just shoves. There's nothing we can do about a shove. We definitely want to open our hand. We got nice blockers here with the 18.6 uh, blinds, but we can't call off even against our guy. We're just, uh, you know, 8 million here, there's 6 million here, there's 15, 15, raise calling King Jack for 19 blinds is... I don't know how much dollar amount it would be torching, but it might be in the thousands. It's a lot, it's torching a lot. It would be burning a lot. I don't like burning money. Miles TV says you speak German. No ambition, yeah. No ambition. I'm a man of many talents, Marley, as you well know. Umvelt with a raise, we got short stack all in. Get him, Umvelt, come on, fuck him up. But don't double him up. I don't want an unnecessary double, that's what we're gonna get, isn't it? Just like a five big blind. This guy doubles again. Yeah, here we go. Oh, Umvelt, you look very handsome today. What a, what, what a great player. Ah, oh, you love to see it. Unlucky for Wazmus, but we love to see the bust outs. We love to see the bust outs. Seventh place, three and a half thousand dollars locked up. Wir müssen double our stack. Das ist Deutsch, ja. Called aces, wow. Pay jump if it holds. It does indeed. I had a four. It was always going to struggle. We are sixth place money, $4,967, just shy of 5k, but we're six of six. We're six of six with 14 bigs, and we got eight high again. No. Big blind next, though. Big hand coming up. Feel it. I feel it in here. Nine, three. I said big hand in the big blind. They give me the nine and the three. Shaking my head, my head. Got to defend tight on the final table. We would fold anyway, but they've uh, shoved over Unvelts open. Not going to have a hand to call very often again, are they? They're not. Blinds are up. 500k, uh, a million. 10 BBs. I think this is just a fold as well. I'm pretty confident that we just fold this. Which is a little tilt, because obviously it's one of the strongest hands we've been dealt, but like rejamming King Jack offsuit here at, at 10 blinds versus this, I don't think it's going to be the way. Don't think it's going to be the way. I'd be surprised if I run that and it's even close to a jam, frankly. Double me up 09. Get me in. Get me in, Ace Queen. Blindy blind, we get the shot. This is the easiest shovel we'll ever make. A lot of money on the line. They call. Oh, oh my god. Oh, they didn't want to play the tournament anymore. Oh, they tried to give me all the ch Oh, they have given me all the chips. Oh, they wanted to go to bed. That's such justice. Queen nine just calls. I'm not sure about that, mate. Eight blinds. I get it. I mean, I don't know. I, I wouldn't call. I don't think I don't think I call in ICA. I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe I'm bad. Maybe I would I don't know. Queen nine flop. Come on. Whew. Whew, 16 and a half million, good. 21 million, 22 million, all to play for. We were one card away from elimination. We got it in very good and we held. Good hand, we'll be all in. I think we raise. I think we're strong enough that we raise and deuce at 16. Of course we do. We don't shove anything here at 16 anyway. Big pot, Brad Owen, pocket jig at these, eh? How can we lose with a hand that Brad Owen likes? Think about it. All right. Hold for the ladder and all the chips. Good one. All right, okay, 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 go on then. Win your all-ins. Uh, what are we, five left? 6.9k locked up? Too tight, Spraggy? Nah, that, if you shove that King Jack for 10 bigs over the raise, you're, just, you're giving the money away on the final table, for sure. Giving it away. Beautiful. 
We are five left. Six sides, nine hundred and forty-two dollars locked up. Little three bet with the king jack off. We win our flip with the jacks. We win our hold with the ace queen. And now, like I say, anyone's game. We're we're very close here. So we're kind of joint second Umvel and first, and then two sh slightly short guys, but all very close. Of course, action's gonna come thick and fast. Five handed. We got twenty-six blinds. Beautiful. All in. Oh my god, Umvel. He rebanged jack five off suit. Got sick of Umvel. Reshoved jack five off, and Umvel has jacks blindly blind. Four left, $9,702 locked up. We bought in for $215. We got 9.7K. Jack five off, got sick of him. Boom. So now we've basically got 25, 25, 21, and Umvelt with 70. So Umvelt's going to raise every hand. None of us want to bust with these pay jumps. None of us want to bust before the other person. And so Umvelt, I mean, he's been raising every hand anyway. But now it's just like, this is, this is a dream scenario for him with 75 million and everybody else on even stacks where he just plays every pot. I'd imagine. The actual correct strategy from Umvelt now is just like all in every hand, pretty much. And it wouldn't surprise me if he just like plays a strategy like that. Obviously at 20 BBs and Chippy V, we'd take some shoves here, but uh, we're just going to raise button, I guess. I wonder if there's any checks in ICM. Might be. Might be. Because getting check raises is not like, I'm not in love with it. Don't know. Oh, a walk. It's, it's a wonderful thing, folks. 9-3 off. It's a wonderful thing. Big blind hand. Oh my goodness. Good enough for Texas Doyle Brunson, but not good enough here. A walk? This is one of the purest ISOs in Chippy V, but fuck. We're in a different scenario right now. I got a pair. They're probably just going to min bet a lot. Probably going to bet one blind on the flop a lot to just clear out some equities. We're not going to fold. Where, oh where, is my ice cream bar? Obviously our uh, thresholds for like calling down are a lot higher when we're in this situation, but our hand's really hard for it to improve as well. I think we just have to fold the turn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, especially like a tens of shit card to have as well. We've got lots of better cards to have here. I mean, Umvelt maybe hasn't been ice win as hard as we might have expected. Try and treat myself. Please Umvelt, may I see a flop? Please Umvelt, can you fold? Ah, but he did not. Not looking good for us right now, folks. Not looking great. It's time to double up. Big hand, big blind. Get him. We're in big trouble. Oh my fuck. Any shot. Check, uh, fold, walk. We gotta curse him before we start. Salt over here. Shitty sock over here. Some shit for Rumvelt. This guy says, let's play. Let's play. So, well, yeah, now we're back from the break. Let's play. Vamo! Good luck, good luck. Don't think there's a lot we can do here. There's seven blinds. Other than go all in. We're live. No. Seven BBs with Queen Four suit. I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like we shove. Guy in the big blind can't call very wide. Just has Ace King, by the way. Just just Ace King for me in the big blind. Oh, I'll call. Yes, please. Good hand. What are you gonna do? Really can't call that many hands. I guess to double me up is kind of miserable. Still, I'm like, gonna call a lot, but like Ace King's a good one. I made a four too. Fuck you know. Listen, with the cards that we got dealt, fourth place, two hundred and fifteen dollars into nine thousand seven hundred and two. Not too bad. Not too bad. If you're watching this video on YouTube, like, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. We'll take it. $9,702 for fourth place.